Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. So, um, so David Hunter, yes, CEO of a company called Ucash. I don't know how many in the room might already know uh, of Ucash. Uh, good, glad to hear it. Um, I'm speaking about uh, ATMs this, mean, uh, this evening, and uh, although uh, thus far we've not really had any uh, involvement directly with ATMs, uh, all will be revealed uh, very shortly. And what I'm hoping to get across is some of the uh, innovations that are still available through, through ATMs. So we just heard, actually, a very compelling um, presentation from Dave Birch about how uh, digital payments, uh, emerging payments, uh, are going to change the way people shop. And, and this uh, image here shows uh, a shoe shop, uh, whether it's in the future and, and how far in the future, we'll have to start to see. But they're saying, sorry, we don't accept cash anymore. Um, and of course, it will, it will happen, I guess, at, at some stage. But the, uh, but the question, of course, is, uh, is, is when. Um, when uh, a company, uh, a consultancy company called PSE Europe, um, said back in 2008, uh, the war on cash is being lost in Europe. And they decided that this conclusion, which is quite a contra controversial conclusion, based on what the displacement is um, from cash transactions to debit card tra transactions. Now, you can all say, okay, well, that was 2008. That's a long time ago. You know, since then, we've seen Oyster in the UK, and I totally agree. We've seen great things like Oyster. But is cash really being displaced at the levels which everybody in this room perhaps wants to see. And, I, and I'd probably suggest they aren't. And this next slide really uh, talks to that, because this is the cash actually in circulation um, in euros um, currently. And you can see year on year increases in cash in circulation. In fact, since 2006, we've seen uh, over 50% increase in the cash in circulation uh, across the Eurozone alone. So, you know, where, where there's still a demand for cash, we need to make sure that there's payment innovations that can be used around cash. A little bit about the, uh, the history, I guess, of the, of the ATM. So, some of you may be very familiar with this uh, image um, on, the, uh, on the left here. Anybody know who that is? Rich Barney. Really? <laughs> well, two out of three ain't bad. There's uh, Reg Varney in Enfield, 68, apparently. But, uh, uh, <laughs> but apparently, he was the, uh, that was the first uh, ATM in the UK. There's an argument about who actually uh, created the first one. There was one in Sweden. There was one in the US, apparently. But the US will always claim them, won't they? Um, <laughs> now, uh, and of course, there's been a lot of learnings uh, about ATMs. I mean, you know, first of all, we know they're quite popular, as we can see from this uh, uh, picture here. Uh, and we can see also you can make up some silly mistakes with uh, rolling out an ATM network as well. <laughs> <laughs> but essentially, you know, uh, 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 over the years, <laughs> they, they had a window. They had a, they had a window, so yeah, it was easy. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit like the urinals at this place, actually. Isn't it? <laughs> anyway. Um, but yes, yeah, so now the ATMs are getting more and more innovation. Uh, and uh, modern ATMs is amazing what you can actually do on a modern ATM. You know, you can actually do, not just obviously take cash, you can top up your mobile phone, you can collect, collect tickets, you can, uh, um, you can put money into ATMs, etc. Uh, there's, sorry? There's one called hunting on there. Is there really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that relates to. <laughs> I'll have to ask my PR company that made this slide. <laughs> But the point is, is that there's a vast array of things that you can do with ATMs. And, and countries like Portugal, actually, have really taken uh, ATM technology to one stage further. It's actually the linchpin of most of their e-commerce transactions, where people are scared to put the card transaction over the internet, so they actually compete the transaction via the ATM. So there's, there is some good innovations happening in the ATM space. Okay. To give you some context, however, why... Ucash, uh, in particular, are interested in the ATM space. I need to give you a little bit about what Ucash is. I'm glad to hear that some of you already know. But essentially, we, we see ourselves as the epitome of electronic money. Insofar as the legal definition, as dictated by the, um, the, the directive, the European <coughs> e-money directive, is that uh, e-money <coughs> is an electronic surrogate for banknotes and coins. Uh, and that's exactly what Ucash is. Essentially, a customer will find their nearest store, uh, exchange their cash 
for a one-time security code and then safely and securely spend, spend that code on their favorite <coughs> website. Uh, that's the uh, idea of Ucash. And our job has been over the years to make it very, very easy for people to, to use it. So we've, we've expanded around the world, about, around 50, 60 countries, um, more locations than I think any, any bank or any retail um, business as well. We've got 460,000 uh, locations around the world where you get your uh, Ucash value from. Okay. In the UK, you'll be familiar with some of these signs, I, I, I guess, uh, PayPoint, ePay, PayZone, etc. So these are the places where you exchange your uh, Ucash value for your digital money, your electronic money. Oops. But the point for us is that's only one direction. We want to see um, people using uh, Ucash for more than just spending on, the, on an internet site. So historically, a customer's bought their Ucash from a local st store with cash and spent it on their favorite internet site. What we're introducing now, especially via the ATM channels, is the ability to go back in the opposite direction. So where, where we're seeing Ucash being used more and more to load value onto digital wallets and onto prepay cards uh, and other devices, we're seeing the need for also the ability to take that cash back, or take it back to cash. But how can you without a card? So what we've uh, done is working with a, a company called Bank Machine, which is a subsidiary of uh, um, US company called Cardtronics. And we've um, built a ability to take uh, money out of an ATM without putting a card in it. Um, some of you may have seen the most commonly used case of this product uh, with, um, with the emergency cash uh, uh, product that uh, NatWest uh, launched re recently. But we're seeing lots and lots of uh, use cases for this. Uh, and uh, indeed, this some of the things that we want to actually try and do is stimulate use cases amongst, uh, amongst partners. So one, uh, one could be you know, take away queues from, from the people that have to go and get refunds. At, uh, as you can see, there wouldn't be much fun in that uh, particular queue. Just give, it, give them an ATM. Refunds <laughs> <in> the <airport. laughs> yeah. But give them, a, give them, draw them a code onto their, onto their mobile, and they just go, go to the ATM and say, type it in, and the money comes. So it's a simple application there. Uh, money transfer, we see this as huge. I mean, you know, money transfer still, still feels like it's living in the dark ages. You know, when, when, when is money transfer going to become, you know, much more on the mobile device, uh, through the ATMs? And this is what we believe we can do with, with, with this type of solution. So, you know, you send somebody the, the security code, uh, and they just take the money out the other end by tape, typing the number in at the ATM. We see, uh, it might be a bit controversial for some, but we see a big market in the space for taking winnings back out of a particular of a poker site or things like this. And this is actually a real, uh, a real scenario that we're working on right now. Loyalty, you know, another, another case. I mean, you know, the whole loyalty area is getting pretty tired, I'd say, and it needs a refresh. You know, and there's quite a, quite a, th a motivation to actually have real cash in your hand. So rather than having these points build up on a card that you'll probably never use uh, and never redeem, take, take the product back to cash. It's another, just, just another simple example of how it can be used. Cash back incentives, same sort of thing. Camera companies do this. You know, they want, to, they want you to buy the product, but they also want to give you a, a discount in the form of a cash back afterwards. Um, FMCG companies, you know, imagine the scenario... Win, win 10 pounds, simply uh, take the uh, coat top off, look inside, see you've won, labeled, gives you the number and you type it in and you get, take your 10 pounds. So we're seeing lots and lots of uh, potential use cases for, for this, this, this functionality. And I guess uh, the most uh, prevalent one, as I've, as I've said, is this ability to get emergency cash. Now this isn't new. I mean, we heard somebody in the room from American Express earlier. I think American Express have had a great service for many, many years. If somebody loses their card, they can go to, I think it was a Western Union, uh, and get some emergency cash. Um, NatWest launched this service w via the ATM. I think the ATMs are the way it's going to go. So again, I just think that that's another uh, great innovation for this cardless ATM. And so I guess I, I leave it, you with the thought that um, um, cash may die one day, but until it does, let's, let's use it electronically. And um, I'd also suggest that um, we may be cardless before we're cashless. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>